we'll be talking about stuff we're not supposed to be talking about. That's why I don't want anybody to know where I'm at or who I am. We get the information from people in the community. Who are these people? How do they know? Most of them are old timers. We go to the EAA chapter and we listen. And we listen and we're new to the chapter. And we find out our concept that we thought of. We'd heard of this, hey, I'm driving a Honda Accord. I'm driving a brand new GM. It's a perfect marvel of a machine. Such a perfect engine. We got an outboard motor in our boat. Always starts, always runs. It's absolutely glamorous. We go and take some flight training. The instructor tells us to pull the choke. The carburetor heat. Pump some gas into the engine, get it going. Yeah. This we leave the ground and the air gets thinner and he, he or she says, uh, hey, you forgot to, you know, remove some gas. It's air is thinner up here. Never had to do that. Been driving a bunch of trips across the country, going up and down the mountains. I had the old timers. Yeah, they've rebuilt so many Connells. They have pride, lots of pride. Pilots. Mechanics, EAA guys, ah, oh, did the last 30 Oshkosh shows in a row. Never missed a single one. Actually, same with me, but um, doesn't mean that the world hasn't passed you by, sir. Things change, things change all the time. Even auto conversion. That beautiful car you're driving, somebody might have been right 15 years ago. Oh, nobody has that really down yet. They really don't have that perfected, you know. How about in today's world, 15 years later, does someone have it perfected? How about the guys and the gals that have over a thousand hours on them? The people that rack up 300 hours in three years. The people that do a thousand hours in three years. The people that just constantly fly and don't tinker. The people that don't have to worry about crankshaft failures, uh, internal failures, failures due to low budget engine developments. People that truly believe in the car engine, the outboard motor engine, modern engine with fuel injection and so forth. But no, you go to that EIA chapter they know how to pull you down. So what do you got to do? You got to stand up for your beliefs. You might say, well, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should be rational. Rational. Maybe I should listen to these old timers. Well, continue your research. You know, find out how many people are actually flying these engines. Try calling Continental. You know, see if you can get some kind of foreign Beijing customer service rep on the phone. Try to call someone else that's like a local guy that builds auto conversions or a gal and uh, instantly get somebody on the phone, you know. Parts are hard to get, oh, you're gonna have to wait two and a half years for your engine. That's when the flag should go up. It's like, that's absolutely insane. So I gotta wait two and a half years for my engine or a year and a half. What happens when a cylinder fails? Am I gonna be sitting on the couch for a year and a half waiting for parts? It's absolutely crazy. Things have changed, keep that in mind. 